and welcome to another part of Shrek 2 for the Game Boy Advance. We still don't know why this book has a cookie and locks on it, but we're probably going to find out in this episode. In the last episode, we got introduced to a new character, Human Shrek. We are never going to use him again in this book. That was the only time you're going to use the new character in this whole book. Like, last time they introduced a new character, he was used in four of the five chapters. But nope, we are not going to use this character. And the time before that they introduced a new character, he was used in three of the f five chapters. But anyway, let's get started on book four, chapter two. This is... T okay... I just have to comment. What type of idiot will fall for that disguise? It's a pony in a dress. And that is going to fool everyone. This is terrible. Shrek was arrested and now Fiona is hanging out with some strange dude. There's someone in the store. So maybe I can sneak up close to the king and see what they are up to. Good idea, Captain Cookie. He's seen your kitty. Do n don't let them see you. Hiya! Hiya, hiya, hiya! So, yeah, we're in a clothing store. Gotta go spy on King Harold. So, let's go see the clothing store. It's sure to be a normal clothing store. Let's do some parkour on the tables and. Why is there spotlights and beetle dudes in a clothing store? That would be like if they grew grass in a prison. Oh, almost got combo killed there. Anyway, you wanna go down here first for a secret. We have a ghosty singing. And now we can't be seen by the spotlights. Ah, it's so overpowered. But first we gotta dodge these beetle dudes. Suicide, 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 suicide. It's better to die than to not have a ghosty sing. Yeah, 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 text. Anyway, so yeah. How you guys doing today? I mean, I know you can't... I know I can't hear your response, but yeah, I'm curious on how you guys are doing today, even though I can't hear your responses. I guess I'll check the comments. No, I should start doing comment questions of the day, and this table is glitchily programmed. Sometimes you can't jump off it. I don't know. It's a weird glitch. Anyway, so common question of the day. Hmm. We're playing as a cat. Wearing a ghost power up that makes him invisible, who's wearing boots and a hat and has a sword, but still a cat. So, are you a common question of the day? Are you a cat or a dog person? Just filled that jump. I should feel bad, but I don't. Anyway, we're gonna do it this time. This is an easy. This is an decently difficult level. I haven't played this game in a few weeks. Yay for my inconsistent upload schedule. Anyway, we can come up here, and as you can see, one of the cool things about this level is there's door here. Do we have to come back with a key? Well, everything will be explained. You want, we can ignore this place. Up here, we have the lep leprechaun failing to climb up there. I'm not gonna talk to you. Whoa, beetle that could have tripped you up. And made you lose your precious ghosty thingy. Um, we'll fight the beetle dudes soon enough. Anyway, we go up here. We got... This is an incredibly short level. We've almost... We're almost done. We've got all the coins. And here's a key. And there it is. The evil fairy and her idiot son. And the evil king talking. Good thing I'm invisible. Why has daughter not fallen in love with my son yet? I don't know. I don't think she believes that Prince Charming is Shrek. What shall we do, Mother? You're gonna go sit in the corner because I don't like you. I will give him... I will give you a potion to put in your drink. She'll fall in love with the first man she kisses. I don't like this, but I can't lose my own happily ever after. I'll do it. I better tell Donkey about this. You gotta tell Donkey about it, yeah. I guess the spotlights and beetle dudes could be because, like, royalty is here. I need to get back to Donkey. Yes, 
you already said that. But I mean, it's just overkill. It's spotlights in the clothing store. What, someone gonna assassinate the king in a clothing store? I mean, it's not like a kitty with like swords gonna break in with a pon donkey that's been turned into a pony wearing a dress. All right, that's what's happening. Oh wait, that was the joke. Anyway, we're almost done, just... Beal guards beat spotlight on survival right? So let's just go through here. Okay, almost done with this level. So maybe now we'll find out what that cooking and locks mean, right? Right? At the end of one of the more interesting levels, because you gotta go back through it, go and freak out. Can you hear the buttons tapping? Can you? Anyway, let's go back. They will first start to fall in love with Prince Charming. Let's go get Shrek. Security, we have two shoplifters in the store. Wait, I'm not stealing. I'm just trying them on. That's what you do in stores. You try on clothes in store. What, are you going to get sent to a maximum security prison for shoplifting? I can't believe Donkey and Shrek are in prison. Yep, they got sent to a maximum security prison for shoplifting. We both saw it on Magic Mirror TV. Something we would know if we saw the movie, but not if we played the game. I better check on the rest of our rescue team. So yeah, new character. The greatest character ever. Who is a cookie. He he can jump high and, but, and throw candy canes, but... He's a cookie. A cookie is the greatest hero of all time. Seriously, it's a cookie. Plus, he only has three health. That is pitiful. See, I'm one-third dead now. Good thing there's health here. Anyway, we got these pumpkin dudes. They're here because some d evil fairy godmother-like person gave it gave the seeds to the villagers, and my commentary is bad right now. I killed, yay, yay for murdering all the helicopter pumpkins who are annoying. Better not take a hit because this character has way too, ma too little health. You know, the health system is stupid. I mean, I get it's realism. A cat has less than an ogre who has less than, who has more. A cookie has less than a cat who has less than an ogre. But, I mean, seriously, three hits? The characters perform virtually the same. And I'm dancing to the music. Dance, 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 cookie, dance. Anyway, we can check on... Oh, and, oh, I've never seen that before. He, like, plays his can can as a guitar. Let's check on Pinocchio. I've got a fresh set of puppet strings. That can work as a row. Awesome! Yay, one of our rescue parties done. Anyway, we can up throw candy canes. We already did that because I played this before. Spiked bushes. Grace Emmy. Oh, and by the way, I didn't show it there, but villagers will attack cookies. I'm bringing hay. Good, we can light torches. <sighs> that pig's a little special. Anyway, let's go up here and lock door. Oh no, where's the key? Is it in this pit that I wouldn't know is not a pit? Anyway, welcome to the hardest mini game of all time in this game. It's time for a mini game. How many pumpkins can you hit without hitting a fairy? You have to hit the pumpkins without hitting the fairies. My record for this game is seven. I got one there. That's more realistic. Yeah, enemies attack a cookie. Yeah, so basically it's, they attacked, they don't attack donkeys, I mean, they attack ogres, and cats, and pastries, but not donkeys. Uh, I just realized we're never going to play as donkey again because they didn't want to program a pony character. Anyway, we can hit that switch, don't have to jump, I did. Okay, what do you have? Is it not stupid? I am bringing wood. That will work well for ladders. You're bringing wood, piggy. Seriously. There's wire down below me, and there's coins down there, and please don't fall in. Oh, this game is so... 
This game is poorly designed in some area. I'm gonna cut now. Ah, uh, the joys of terrible game design. Greatest part about this game. And we're back. Yay, terribly designed level. Actually, I should do this the other way first. Okay, careful. Don't fall into the water. Because water kills cookies and ogres and humans and cats. What's a jump cut? Bad joke. Bad. Did I seriously go for loading the save state? Yes, I may save state at the hard part, so I won't have to play through the level again. Oh, poor, poor, evil me. I'm gonna try again now. Okay. Bad game design. Badly designed instant death water. With small platforms and awkward controls. Maybe I'm just bad at this game. Yeah, that's probably it. But still, they should not make you have to go one place, go back, then go over it. This game has its moments when it's absolutely terrible. Reminds me of a moment coming up in two episodes from now, I think. Oh, I just realized. Of all the characters to make the fifth character... They decided the most logical. Cookie. Ah, cookie powers. I just remembered. They did that in the other version that I played. The, the PS2 version is nothing like this. It's completely redesigned. It's a 3D platformer that, that has multiplayer that's actually good. And I'm dying left and right because I can die. I can do as much as I want. Infinite lives. And save states. <sighs> Yay for being able to die as much as you want. Ooh, I just... No, 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 no! You call. And that is one epic no is. Way better than that classic. No! 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 I'm just saying no. That is what my commentary has become because I am so mad because I keep dying on this stupid level. Sometimes it doesn't jump when you hit jump. You just keep walking. Bad game. Bad game programming. As a, The design was terrible and the programming wasn't great. Wait, does the background... Oh, the background does move. That's a redeeming quality. Anyway, I'm going to make a save state. Say what, you, say what you want, but I really don't care. This level... I have died more times in this level than I did in one of the most annoying bosses I have ever faced. I couldn't find any bricks. You're, folks, you're supposed to find something to break the bricks. Well, that's different. You're so stupid, eat candy canes. You know, I don't know what's coming up. I didn't practice this part because the war was super nerd. Oh, and we went 360. Is everyone ready to go? Yep, and they're hanging this way. Can you just take them with you? Stupid cookie, stupid cookie, super cookie! And dance, 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 everyone dances. Ooh, this level. In the next episode, we'll take on chapter 4 for the hardest level in... Okay, not the hardest. The longest level in the game. Till next time, my name is Ultimate Sprite Night. Peace.